for our other big story for this Wednesday. Thousands are expected to attend a statewide immigration reform rally at the Bakersfield office of Congressman Kevin McCarthy later today. Organizers say about 5,000 advocates will be on hand to urge Congressman McCarthy to hold a vote on immigration reform legislation. The Senate passed an immigration reform bill back in June. Now the bill will move to the House where members will decide the fate of the bill and labor activists are putting the pressure on House Republicans. McCarthy is the majority whip in the House. Advocates are urging him to exercise his power to call for an up or down vote by the end of September. Counter protesters though plan to be on hand as well, calling on McCarthy to secure the border and shoot down any proposal for legalization or amnesty. And Congressman McCarthy did release a statement yesterday regarding immigration reform. He tells us, quote, I think that it is always healthy to have a dialogue on the important issues of the day, and I welcome folks coming to visit Bakersfield. While I have met with many groups across the spectrum of the immigration reform debate, in the end, I value the input of my constituents in the 23rd Congressional District the most. I have long said that uh, I have long said that our immigration system is broken, but rather than take up the Senate bill, the House will move in a step-by-step -step approach that first secures the border. The congressman is not in town today and is not expected to be at today's rally. And again, we're going to be talking about that right now here in studio. 17 newsmakers this morning. Backers say the proposed legislation helps keep families together and offers a road to citizenship for the roughly 11 million undocumented immigrants here in the U.S. But opponents want the border secure now. They say we're having problems already with both population and unemployment. Both sides are making impassioned arguments today. Arturo Rodriguez, president of the United Farm Workers, which helped organize the rally today, and Joe Gazzardi is with Californians for Population Control. He plans to be out there at the congressman's, congressman's office to counter protest as well today. Gentlemen, good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so Mr. Rodriguez, let's start with you first. You heard the congressman's statement there this morning. He doesn't plan to press for a vote on the Senate bill. He wants to secure the border and take up the issues one by one. What's your reaction? Well, we want to make sure that Congressman McCarthy really takes the leadership to vote on a pathway to citizenship for all immigrants in this country. To us, that's the most important issue. He can include whatever else he wants, but it needs to include that pathway to citizenship so we can guarantee and stabilize the agricultural industry and other industries on the, in this country that really rely upon the work of immigrants. And, and Mr. Gazzari, let's bring you in here. You plan to be out there at the congressman's office as well. You're yes, I'll a, be there this afternoon. And, and you're running a series of TV commercials as well. What's your message in those? We are trying to remind uh, Representative McCarthy that when he returns to Washington, he should include an analysis of what the impact of any uh, immigration bills that Congress might undertake on Americans. I'm encouraged to hear that uh, Congressman McCarthy wants uh, border security first because in 1986, when the last uh, major uh, immigration bill passed, we Americans were promised that there would be border security and promised that there will be internal enforcement. We got neither. In 1986, there were about two and a half million illegal immigrants in the, in the country. Today, that number is nearly 11 million, so we feel quite certain that if there's not enforcement, the number of illegal immigrants will uh, return and we'll be back having this same date and Mr. Debate, Gazzari, you're, not you're very long from now. And your contention really is, look, we already have high unemployment and look at the taxes we pay? We have approximately 20 million Americans who are either unemployed or underemployed. They come from all demographic uh, spectrums, black Americans, Hispanic Americans, uh, returning veterans, disabled Americans. We live in a society that creates more part-time jobs than it does full-time jobs. Uh, and the jobs that are being created are in the service industry and relatively uh, low paying. So we think that to give legal work authorization, which would be probably the, a step that would occur before a path to citizenship, to give legal work authorization to 11 million people who are technically not legally uh, employable mm -hmm. would be very bad for unemployed Americans and even Americans who already have jobs. Mr. Rodriguez, your response to that? Well, we have sat down with the employers of this nation and worked out an agreement, worked out a compromise that really takes care of the needs of our businesses as much as it does of, of Americans that are here already, that are doing the jobs that no one else wants to do in America. 
Today, the reality is that the agricultural industry is supported by immigrant workers. And there's so many other industries. On the drive over here this morning, you saw immigrants going and working in construction. You saw immigrants on their way to work in other dif different types of businesses and certainly out in the agricultural fields. So without immigrants in our nation today, our economy will collapse. And we are all very concerned about that. That's why we're going to Congressman McCarthy today, asking him to exercise his leadership and ensure that there's a vote on immigration reform bill that includes that pathway to citizenship this year. We've been debating this now for over a decade. So everybody clearly understands the issue and understands the importance. The congressman says, though, he doesn't directly outright support citizenship. He says path to legalization, yes, citizenship, no. You know, it's fine to talk about legalization. Of course we want that. But we have to have an incentive for the immigrants in this country. They deserve it. Anybody that goes and harvests the fruits and vegetables for our nation and puts food on our table every single day, they deserve that pathway to citizenship as any other American does Mr. to want, ensure. And I want to give Mr. Guzari a chance to respond to that. Uh, the, a lot of businesses, in this, especially in Kern County, depend on that workforce to get its job done. So how do you respond to that? And also, what would you do about the potential large swath of 11 million uh, immigrants who are kids who have lived in this country essentially for their entire life? Would you, would you have them go back to a different country? I would need to see the specific wording in any legislation that's pr proposed. I mean, the, the, the terms that we're talking about here are so broad that it's difficult to pin down a specific response. But what we need to have, what all America needs to have before anything else happens, is secure borders. Secure borders help to defend the immigrants that are already here and already working, because without those secure borders, there's going to be another wave of illegal immigration. And we know for a fact that there are employers out there, unscrupulous employers, that would take advantage of those newcomers and hire them at lower than the prevailing wage. So we need secure borders, and we also need E-Verify, a system that would ensure that all of the uh, immigrants that uh, any employer might hire are legally authorized to work in the United States. All right, gentlemen, again, this is a very large topic, as you just alluded to, Mr. Guzardi, and there's a lot to be said about it. More on the rally throughout the day here on 17 News and on our website, kget.com. Thanks both for coming in this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Six